Welcome to Dev Dive In. Today we're going to create your first website. Not to worry, it's not as difficult as you think it is. Let's dive in. First, you're going to need a text editor meant for web development. By far the most popular right now is Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Another one is Sublime Text. And there's a whole bunch out there. If you just Google web development text editor, you'll see there's a whole bunch. Uh, but by far, I would suggest using Visual Studio Code. So to get started, just download and install Visual Studio Code. Now that we have Visual Studio Code installed, first thing we're going to need is a place to put our files. So let's create a new folder. I'll call this example. And you can drag this folder into VS Code. Now on the left hand side here, there's a new bar called example. This is our folder. Now, First thing we want to do is create a HTML file. If we come up to this new file icon and click it and type in index.html. HTML files have a .html extension. And the reason why I called it index.html is just a naming convention. By default, when you put your files on a server, they look for index.html as the default file. You can really name it whatever you want, but naming convention says that your main file is index.html. So now that we have a file, I'm going to just type in some random text. I'm going to save with command S or control S, or you can come up to file and save here. Now if we open our file and double click on it. It'll open in the browser and you'll see test. Now if we change anything here and refresh. It'll show up here. Now let's create a proper HTML file. I'll delete this. First thing you're going to need is a doc type. This tells the browser that this is indeed an HTML file. Next, an HTML tag with an opening and closing tag. Anything in between here is the HTML document itself. So we're going to put everything in between these two tags. Next is the head tag. This is information about the HTML document that the user won't necessarily see. So as an example, I put a title, things I love. And when I save it and refresh it, you'll see in the tab, it says things I love. Next is the body tag. This is the actual content of the HTML document. So this is where we're going to put all of our headings and paragraphs and images. As an example, I'm going to create an H1. This is a heading. And if I were to save that and refresh, you'll see it shows up in the main body of the content. One thing you may have noticed is that things are indented. This is just a visual way of telling what tags are inside of other tags. It really doesn't matter if everything is indented or on one line. HTML doesn't really care. It'll tr still treat things exactly the same. This is more for the developer so that it's a little easier to read. Now, one cool thing that'll help you learn HTML is the console. If you go to any website and right click and click inspect, as you see, it looks exactly the same as the HTML that we've created. But the nice thing about this is it when you hover over it, it shows you what it's affecting. And it's nice that you can come in here and change the values. Now you'll notice it didn't change the document itself. If I were to refresh this, it'll go back to what it originally was. But it's nice to be able to go in and modify things to see how it's going to change. Now let's add a couple more tags. There's a P tag for paragraph. Now if we save that, you'll see it shows up. And you'll see it also shows up in the inspector and we can select each of them. There's a list. UL stands for unordered list or you'd probably commonly know it as a bullet list. So we add a couple more LIs. You'll see it's each line is a bullet list. And in here, you'll see it twiddles down 
and you can modify each one if you wanted. You might have noticed our first website doesn't look very good. HTML isn't really responsible for making things look good. It's about defining what the content is. So this is kittens is a heading, cats is a paragraph, and this is a list. We use CSS for styling, and that tells the browser how we want the content to look. We'll cover that in a later video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And that's our website. Not exactly beautiful, but I think it's great. And with that, that's this video. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching.